Jessica Camerato, LMB.com. Hey, Davey. From um, all the pictures, it looked like you guys had a pretty fun flight down to Miami. How did all that come about with the matching outfits and what was that vibe like? Yeah, no, I, you know, we talked about it for a while. I, you know, I want to kind of do something heading to Miami. So uh, I talked to some of the veteran veteran guys about what we want to do and um, came out with the Hawaiian shirts and shorts, uh, kind of a Bahama style trip. So, I mean, everybody dressed up and did well. I mean, we had a good time last night. So uh, back to work today. I know you guys are still obviously focused on winning, but was the mood on the plane any different than it's been on, on for previous road trips? I mean, you know, hey, we try, you know, like I said before, for me, after every game, you know, just we, we want to relax and have fun. We had, you know, we had a good series in Philly. Um, it was a good, you know, a good start to a, a road trip. But they understand that, hey, today, you know, we play the Marlins, who's, you know, they're, they're a pretty talented team, pretty good team. Their starting pitching is really, really good. So we got to come ready to play today. Mark Zuckerman, MassiveSports.com. Hey, Dave, I know um, uh, Stephen and Hudson have, have been playing catch. Are, is there any timetable yet for them to get on a mound, either one of them? No, nothing yet. I mean, Stephen still has, got, has a, a ways to go. Um, but he's throwing the ball a little better. Uh, uh, he's playing long toss at about 155, 150 feet. Um, good intensity. You know, I know uh, uh, Huddy threw the ball the other day and actually threw, threw the ball fairly well, I thought, you know. And um, we'll see how he feels today. He's going to go out and throw again today. We'll see how he feels after today. And hopefully he's a lot – he'll be a lot sooner than, than, than Stephen will be to get on the mound. So um, they're both – they're both progressing well. So we'll see uh, how quick we can get him back what would be sort of the sign that says they can take that next step? Well, you know, he's still got, you know, he's still got to build them up, you know, it's still it's got a lot of, a lot of, a um, lot of work to be done for both of them. I Man, like I said, you know, we got to be really careful with Huddy because of his uh, past uh, injuries. Um, we might want to make sure that when he does get on the mound that he's, he's ready to go. So uh, same thing with Steven. I mean, you know, um, you know, we want, we don't want this to be a reoccurring thing for him. So when he's ready to get on the mound, we want to make sure that he's completely healthy and ready to go. And just given how many guys had to pitch yesterday to get through that game, did you guys have to have any conversations about bringing in a fresh arm, or did you feel like you had, um, you know, enough who would be available tonight to to not have to make a move? Yeah, we talked we talked about it. You know, <laughs> the big thing for us is that you know Joe Ross goes out there and gives us some length today, um, but I think we I think we had enough to cover. You know, we didn't use Jeffrey yesterday, um, so he's available to pitch. Swero. Only faced one batter yesterday, so he's available to give us some some uh, one plus innings if need be. And then these other guys are going to go out and throw to the day, the hand, Rainey, and uh, I'll see how they feel today. Jesse Dark, are you watching the post? Hey, Davey, where's uh, where's Daniel Hudson right now in his recovery, and what do you see as next steps for him? Yeah, so his next step obviously will be um, to get on the mound and throw, but he's still, he's still got to build up. You know, and, uh, like I said earlier, that um, because, his, because of his past history with his arm, we want to make sure that, we, you know, his strength is there, um, the swelling is gone, and, uh, and we can get him healthy as quick as possible, but yet be, be smart about it. So, yeah, what's that? I know we talked about that with maybe Max and Steven with relievers too, like – Obviously, he wants to help. You guys are on a good stretch here. The bullpen's been a bit thin in some games. So how do you kind of tell him to take as much time as you need and not push this and, and cause more issues? Yeah, I mean, he, he believe me, he's frustrated. He's biting at the bit. He wants to get back. But uh, like I told him, you know, I said, hey, we want you back fully healthy. So uh, if it takes a little longer than, than it should, then we'll take the time and get you get you right. Hey, we, we've asked you so much this year about when the offense isn't going well, we ask what's what's going on, what's wrong, et cetera. So when it does go well, when you see a bunch of good at-bats yesterday and all the runs driven in, do you see any commonalities in the approach or what guys are doing that shows you that, you know, there's some improvements there? Yeah, they're being a little bit more, more aggressive. Um, you know, and, and like I said before, it's for me, it's all, you know, hitting's all ba based on timing. And, um, and you're seeing a lot of guys getting re ready early and, and staying on the fastball and uh, putting swings on fastballs. And also too, a uh, big part of it is moving the baseball with two strikes. You know, we're doing we're doing a lot of that as of late. So uh, good things happen when we can move the baseball uh, with two strikes, but yet be aggressive when the ball's in the strike zone. 
Thank you. Justin Camarado. Jamie, this is a pretty random question. With Tanner Rainey, how would you describe his personality when he's pitching? Uh, very intense. Uh, hey man, he's, he's, a, he's a guy that goes out there. This is the reason why, you know, when we first had him, first time I saw him throw a bullpen, uh, you know, he was trying to throw 200 miles an hour. And we, we just had to tell him to tone it down some and, and just uh, his intensity, you know, just kind of slow it down and throw about 50%. And just throw strike one, you know, and every every pitch should be strike one for you in the bullpen. And when we got we got him to understand that, you know, and, and when he comes on the mound, you know, he's he's a guy that that, that feeds off of emotion, and um, he goes out there, and and, and that 50, 75 percent becomes, you know, 100 percent, you know, every time he's out there. So, uh, but you know, as you can see now, he's throwing the ball really well. I mean, his fastball is up to 99 now, um, and his slider's bit, bit, been really good. So. Uh, we got to keep, continue to keep him like that, you know, but yet, like I said before, is it like not go out there and think he's going to throw the ball through the backstop, you know, just throw strikes. And that's what he's been doing. Sometimes when we talk to him, he seems like pretty laid back. So I don't know from your just off the field conversations with him. Is there like a kind of a bit of a juxtaposition on the field, off the field? No, oh, he's, he, he's one of those guys, like I said, um, he's very laid back until, until he gets in that bullpen and the games get, gets going. I mean, uh, him, uh, you know, we got another guy like that, Huddy, where, he, as you you know, you know, he's very laid back as well. But once he gets in that bullpen and he gets on that mound, he's a different guy. Hey, Coco. Hey, Dave, you started to go back to yesterday for a second, but uh, why, Dusty, are you do, why, are you, why are you doing it then? Yeah, well, I'm not really that sorry then. Um, Dusty was a big believer in the fact he would say this all the time in putting importance on getaway day wins because of the camaraderie, the chemistry that could be created from a happy flight, from everybody banding together and having that travel time and being in good spirits when you have that. Is that what's your take on that? Is that something that has any substance to it in your mind? Yeah, we always talk about winning getaway days. I mean, honestly, really, I mean, it's, it's, it's something that's brought up before every game. You know, uh, we, we call it the happy flight. You know, let's get on. Let's get let's get on the flight or the bus uh, in a good mood, great mood and get to the next next uh, next series or next. Uh, uh, whether we're going back home or going to a new city, you know, let's get there and, and get ready and be happy. So, um, you know, we always think about that. The, the biggest thing, too, is is the next day, you know, getting off that flight and being ready for that first game of a series. You know, for me, it's really important to get off to a good start, you know, especially on the road and try to win that first game of a series. I would imagine your themed uh, trips weren't really able to happen last year because of COVID. Is is there some sense of relief that you're able to get back to, to some of those team building activities that you haven't been able to participate in over the last year or so? Absolutely, it's a lot of fun. You know, when we could get together and do things as a group, uh, we have a good time. I mean, this, this, um, you know, we, we're, it's always been talked about here, you know, with the veteran guys, uh, especially after not being able to do anything last year, if we we're going to get back to doing what we do. And, it, it, you know, it takes time. You know, we've, we've been through, you know, th through this whole pandemic and, and we got to be smart about it. But uh, yesterday was a perfect opportunity to, to you know, dress up and, and, and get the guys together and, and get on a flight after a great win and, and, and have a good flight and get to Miami and get ready to go again. Thanks, Davey. Right. Mark Zuckerman. So if I'm understanding you right, you're saying you put no priority on the second game of the series? Always. <laughs> we want to win the first one, though. Okay. I, I like winning the first game of every series. I really do, you know. Hey, when you do that, it's, it's you know, you know if, if it's a two-game series, I mean, three-game series or two-game series or, you know, you win the first one, you know, um, then then you're going to win, you know, you want to win, you know, win the series. So, uh, you know, but our focus is always come in and try to win that first game. Um, so Josh Bell, what he's been doing here lately is obviously more what you thought you'd have from him um, all along. The first month plus was not. And throughout that all, you kept saying that it was really important to keep him in the lineup regularly. You didn't really move him down. I think maybe except a couple of days. Do you think that was important to get him going that he needed to be playing consistently like that and to be in a prominent spot in the lineup? I, I, I definitely believe that, you know, here's a guy that's, uh, that's hit fourth, you know, in his career a lot. And, um, and, and was, you know, very successful doing it. So when he comes to a new team, you know, 
uh, we want him to get comfortable. And obviously, you know, when we left spring training, he was swinging the bat better than anybody that we had. He really was. He had an unbelievable spring training. And, and then, um, you know, the pandemic hit him and uh, the COVID hit him and, and, and then, you know, he got slowed down. I wanted to make sure that he understood that, you know, that, uh, you know, I had all the confidence in the world in him and that, you know, I know that he was going to get out of uh, the little funk that he was in and, uh, and he did. And, you know, and, and, and now that we're, you know, we're in the middle of the season, he's, he's helping us win ball games. He's playing really well. The one thing, I, the one thing I've always told him, I said, regardless of whether, the, you know, whether you're getting hits or not, you know, you got to play defense every day. The minute your defense goes South, then, you know, that becomes, that becomes a, a, a bigger issue. So, and he took, you know, he took pride in that, you know, he worked every day diligently with bogey on his, on his defense, um, want to get better. Uh, I never seen him, I never seen him slack off on his defense. And that was, that meant a lot to me, uh, you know, to watch him go out there and continue to work, knowing that he was, you know, he had his struggles. And every day I kept telling him, I said, Hey, we'll look back at this, you know, uh, at the end of the year and say, Hey, you know, what a good, what a great year. I mean, you, you know, you, you put that behind you, you grew from it, you understood. And hopefully now that when, when you do get in another funk, you know how to get out of it uh, really quick. Patrick Dragonson, Pro Baseball. Hey, Davey, I know you tend to go back and watch the games afterwards. Uh, I'm wondering if you went back and watched Joe Ross's start and saw anything other than the fact that he just couldn't put Lindor away for the most part. He did most of the damage in that game, but... I mean, it, I mean, that, to me, that was, you know, that was the key factor for him. You know, just, you know, he, he got beat by one guy, you know, uh, his stuff was, his stuff was good. I mean, I, and, you know, going into today, this week, we talked about, hey, don't, not trying to change anything, you know, control the game, control the strike zone and, uh, and, and mix your pitches. And, you know, so uh, if he does that today, we'll, we'll be in good shape. I mean, like I said, you know, he had one guy that had his number um, five days ago. Uh, so hopefully tonight he comes comes back and shakes that one off and comes back today and gives us the innings uh, and the outs that we need. Just looking at his numbers on the year, his walks for a nine are up about one per game, basically uh, two to three this year. Uh, last two games, though, he hasn't walked anybody. Back to back starts now. The first two this year that he hasn't walked anyone. Have you seen him do anything different as he changed his approach at all? So uh, he's just like I said, you know, I know, you know, we talk a lot and Hickey's been pounding him about just pounding the strike zone. And, and using your defense, you know, and, and our pitches, uh, for the most part, have been do, have been doing that. They really have. I mean, that's all, that's one of our focuses as as an organization. Now is to throw strikes, you know, and, and let your defense play behind you. Thank you.